Number six, how is the periodic law demonstrated within groups of the periodic table? Well, groups of elements exhibit similar chemical properties and behavior. As we look at or we examine any group in the periodic table, we see that they share similar characteristics. Well, how does that demonstrate the periodic law? Well, as you go from left to right, the atomic number increases by one, correct? The reason that you go to 10 and then start a new row, and then you go to 18 and start a new row, go to 36 and start a new row, is because this, or sorry, uh, this group, the alkali metals, they all share similar chemical characteristics. And so, once you get to the noble gases, again, sharing similar chemical characteristics, you start a new row. You can see that these chemical characteristics are periodic. They happen every time you get back to the first group, every time you get back to the first group, every time you get back to the first group. You get an element that reacts violently with water. Every time you get back to the 18th group, you get an, a non-reactive element. Every time you get back to the 18th group, you get a non-reactive element. I get to 36, it's non-reactive. I get to 54, it's non-reactive. I get to 86, it's non-reactive. So, groups of elements exhibit similar chemical properties and behavior.